what began as an experiment to bring my 11-year-old daughter into my business has evolved into Our Young Creators, a podcast, a training center, and a movement dedicated to equipping kids with real-world marketable skills so that they can fund their own brighter futures. We're here to inspire you to turn consumption time on devices into creation time and use technology as a tool to bond and not bicker with your kids. Join us each week as we share the inner workings of our partnership and bring you stories from guests of all ages and from all walks of life on our quest to nurture and to celebrate our young creators. Hey, hey, everyone. Happy Friday. If you're wondering what I'm doing here on a Friday, it's because I have something very special for you. My friend Tasha actually is going to be joining us. I think she just dropped out of the call, so I will await her to come back, but I will continue on. If this is your first time tuning in live, catching the replay, or maybe listening over on the podcast. My name is Young Pratt. I am the chief dreamer and podcaster right here at Our Young Creators. And as we move towards the end of 2018 into 2019, there's been something that's been weighing a little bit on my heart. And I've alluded to it in the past as well telling you that I'm going to be showing up more because I feel like it's something that I need to be doing more of, not only to help you in your journey, but also so that I can dig a little deeper into myself and discover new things. Welcome, Tasha. I'm so glad you're here. Hi. Well, uh, well, I was getting ready to say welcome and you welcoming me and I was getting ready to say to you welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome well, thank to you so everybody. Much. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I, you know what? I am so excited about what we are getting ready to do. <laughs> and I'm a little, I'm going to say this word. I don't, I try not to say it, but I'm a little bit nervous, just a little bit. Yes, as am I. And if you'll notice that the title of this video is She Made Me Do It Part One. As we uncover what's coming up that Tasha and I have been talking about for quite some time, and we just decided it was finally just time to do it because we both needed it in our own lives, and we want to invite you along in this journey. Before we go on, though, I'm going to have Tasha introduce herself in case you don't already know her. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Tasha Cole, also known as TC Knows of the Break the Cycle with TC Knows podcast show. I am just so excited. You know, I'm a transformational speaker. And somebody might ask the question, well, what is a transformational speaker? Well, hence the word transform, because I don't just want to motivate you. I want the words that flow out of my heart through my lips to transform your life as it is doing for me. So that's why I say that I am a transformational speaker in my own right. So exciting. And yes, I can attest to the fact that Tasha is the queen of transformation. She has transformed her own life in such an amazing way. And now she's leading people in her own community to do the same. And that's what we have for you, something that's going to transform your life. Are you ready for it? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's give it to them. Let's, let's do it. Okay, Tasha, tell us what it's about. Okay. So 
Young and I have been talking for some time, as she stated, that we need to do something big. First, it started off when she interviewed me some time ago, and she was asking me about the podcast, and I was saying how, you know, it's a podcast where we help you know, heal and transform people's lives through the power of words and real life solutions. So as we begin to talk, she actually helped me to gain clarity on the podcast with it coming out of our shell and not staying in this comfort zone because the comfort zone will keep you just in one place, the safe zone, and you won't be able to grow. So as we just begin to talk and, and, uh, collaborate together. It has been a journey up until this point that we are going to be going live, live every day for 100 days straight. So that's seven days a week that we're going to be going live starting December the 10th. And we want you, we want to bring you along on this journey. And it's not going to be, you know, coming on live and doing 30 minutes or even five minutes, but just one to three minutes of that particular moment, a moment that you will have, you know, and, and to come on and share your heart. Um, I, again, I am, I am, I'm going to, I'm not going to say the word nervous, y'all. I'm going to say excited. I'm <laughs> excited about this because it's going to help me grow. I believe it's going to help all of us grow. So that is why it is titled, She Made Me Do It, because she, Young is my pusher. She is gently giving me a push, and I, I'm grateful for that, for that push, because I don't think if we hadn't been talking about it and, you know, going with the flow of these creative ideas and then coming up with this challenge, you know, this 100 Days FB Live Challenge, you know, it's, it's going to be great. So we want you all to just join in with us and come out of those shells. Come out of that shell. You're no longer a snail <laughs> hiding in the shell. So come on out. Come on out and join us on this, on this uh, challenge. We're going to help transform that nervous energy into what Tasha said is excitement. We want you to get excited about sharing yourself with the world. And Tasha has definitely pushed me to do this too, because I share with her that for so long in my business life, I really kept this wall between myself and my business. So there were a lot of things that were going on with my life that definitely impacted my business. I didn't share them though. So when I was communicating with people who were coming to my business, they may not have gotten the proper sense of who I was because I sheltered myself for so long. So trust me when I say that this makes me a little bit nervous too, that nervous excitement, because I know in the process of going live for a hundred days, I'm going to be sharing stories that I've never shared before. And it's something that I've been working on this entire year to be able to help other people come out of their shells. Because honestly, I came from a place where in my performing arts studio, I wouldn't even get on the stage to announce anything in my show. I would have somebody else do it, or I would do it from, from behind the curtain. I wouldn't actually set foot on the stage. I felt that it was my responsibility to help other people be in the spotlight, but I didn't want to be there personally. And so I had to work through a lot of things, a lot of insecurities, a lot of self-doubt to get to the point where I am today to be able to come live. And I know that in the process of going live, even when you feel like you don't want to, and sharing something, a tidbit, an insight, something that you learned that day, and incident that happened and how you reacted to it. Really, it could be anything. It's exciting to think about, though, in a 100 days, you could literally be a different person. And I know that sounds crazy, but I'm here to say that life can change in an instant and we can change our thoughts in an instant. We just need to take action to make it happen. And that is why this challenge came into being. Absolutely. And you know what, as you were saying, you know, sharing with us young about staying behind the curtain, there are a lot of individuals that are behind the curtain. They're behind the curtain. 
They want to come out from behind the curtain, but they don't know how to come out from behind the curtain. So with this challenge, it's going to be a good little nudge to help them come from behind the challenge. So on December the 10th, we're actually going to be starting that day, and we're going to be making sure that everybody is comfortable. Up until that time, you have us, you have access to us to get in contact with us through email, through Facebook Messenger, even if you know us personally and you have, you know, phone numbers, you know, contacting us by that way, because we want you to come out of that comfort zone. Say no to the zone. That's a song, y'all. Say, Say no, no to, to the zone. zone. <laughs> Say no to the zone. So that's what we want you all to do. And I know it's going to be a lot of questions that you may have. Like for one, one of the questions that you may have is, well, what if nothing, you know, awesome happens to me that day? Or what if something actually bad happens to me that day? I don't want to come on and share that. Or, you know, we don't, we want you to be as authentic as that moment will be authentic. And by, you know, let me just go ahead and say this, y'all. We, and we, you and I talked about this. We don't know what's going to happen on that day. You know, my mother said to me the other day, we don't know on that day how life is going to happen to us. What's, what's going to happen to us on that day? We don't know how life is going to treat us. So we have to go with the flow. And again, it's not going to be no five minutes, just one to three minutes of something that has impacted you or has, you know, made you think or even made you cry. So, yes, this journey is going to be a vulnerable journey. It's going to be a transparency journey. But most of all, it's going to be it will be a transformational journey, a transforming journey. No longer being a caterpillar, crawling in the dirt, but during those 100 days straight, you will have that opportunity to become a butterfly and begin to fly. So that's what it will be. So true. We all want to become those butterflies. We don't need to be those caterpillars that no one sees. We want to be flying through the air and being beautiful and bright and vibrant for everyone to see. Because I really truly believe that each of us was put onto this planet to do something special. I think the statistics are something like the chances of us being here on this planet today are like one in 400 billion or something crazy. So when you think about that, I mean, that is so, the chances of you being here are so small, yet here you are. And so there's a story to share. And one of the questions you may have too is why Facebook Live? And one of the reasons is because it is scary. It's nerve wracking a little bit to press go live. But I want you all to think about this. If you think about the times that maybe you FaceTime with your kids or with your family or with friends who live far away and you're having a conversation and you see one another's faces. When you press live, I want you to talk to your best friend. I want you to share with them. And Tasha said this earlier to me this morning that for her, going live is her form of journaling. So rather than writing it down, which we encourage you definitely to do if that's your jam, this is an alternate way to express your thoughts and to help yourself remember the challenging times and to see your transformation over those 100 days. Yes. yes. And I, I do want to say um, it's free. Yeah. Yes, totally free. So this is a totally free challenge. And Tasha and I are committed to doing this, going live for 100 days. And we would love to have you join in on this party because honestly, we would love to help 100 people go live over those 100 days because the impact of doing that is going to literally be hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, can you imagine, we all have in our circles probably around 100 people, probably more so on Facebook than other places, but we all know at least that many people. If we can reach that many people with our message and a hundred people are doing this, that's huge. I mean, we're really compounding this idea of standing there together, 
vulnerably standing there, sharing our stories, sharing real life, because that's what people connect with. People don't often connect with people who are always 100% of the time, you know, looking like life is so easy and there's never a challenge. That is not real life. That is like a highlights reel on people's social media accounts. We want to break that cycle of sharing only the highlights. We want to share the lowlights, the struggles, the craziness, the epiphanies we're going to have in these 100 days. Because when you speak from your heart, like you're talking to your best friend, who knows what amazing things are going to be happening in each of our lives. Yeah, and I agree with that. And the uh, one, thing one thing too that, that I that see happening happen. is businesses coming, ha you know, happening. Um, I see books coming out of this. I see um, friendships coming out of this. I see collaborations between entrepreneurs coming out of this. I see quite a few things that will happen during this next 100 days. Mm -hmm. And I have already experienced doing 100 plus Facebook lives. And this is coming from a person that has never ever done this before. Nobody challenged me to do that, but I challenged myself to do that. But you and I have a mutual friend, Kim White, who challenged me to do 1000 Facebook lives. And I'm actually starting that in January. So my first Facebook live is going to be January the 1st. January the 1st, that's going to be my live where I'll be starting my 1000. So I'm actually going to be my doing my 100 <laughs> still in that process and and beginning the count for the 1000 Facebook lives that I'll be doing. So I'm I'm challenging myself. So that's something that I hope that they too Whoever is interested in becoming a part of this challenge will challenge themselves to do. Do something that you've never, ever, ever done before. Yeah, so good. And I think, again, pushing ourselves out of the comfort zone, our own comfort zones, and being there for one another is really what this is all about, about that accountability piece. And I want to also clarify that if you don't have a business, that does not mean you cannot participate. Wherever you are yes. in your season or walk of life, you are welcome. If you're a stay-at-home mom and you're raising kids and you want to talk about those challenges and share your wins, awesome. If you're if you're a grandma and you you know you connect with your kids maybe on social media, this is for you. If you have a business, this is for you. You can even include your kids in this process because it's amazing for them to see us being vulnerable showing them that it's okay to share our hurts and our challenges and it's okay to share our wins not to be boastful but to inspire other people who are tuning in who might need to hear that message on that particular day that's what this is about because there's someone out there waiting for you to step into the spotlight yeah. to share who you are what you're made of and really help them in their journey. And by helping them, you're also helping yourself. So really it's a win-win for everybody. So if you want to join us, I will pop the link down below as soon as we wrap up, but it's bit.ly 100 days of FB live, meaning Facebook live. But I'll pop that as soon down below as soon as we are finished. And so if your husband or your significant other or your kids ask why you're going live, you can legitimately say, she made me do it. You can say, Tasha made me do it, Yang made me do it, or just say, she made me do it, and leave it at that. Yes, <laughs> and you know what? You just gave us our hashtag. She made me do it, yes! I love it. And you know, and normally I'm not about placing blame on anybody, and that's not what this is about. This is about creating a community where she, multiple she's we're doing it together so we're doing it not only for ourselves but for each other and for all those people out there waiting for us to show up and get out of those comfort zones yes, yes absolutely. absolutely so just so know, you know it will be hashtag, hashtag she made me do it <laughs> and I hashtag 
<laughs> hashtag young made me do it hashtag tasha made me do it so every time that you go live we want you to put that lot that hashtag in there so we can you know see these lives because maybe we're not in a position where we can you know join you right at that moment when you go live because everybody won't go live at the same time i just want to clarify that too we won't go live at the same time and somebody might have that question young well do we yeah. go live all of us at the same time no because your moment may be at a different time than my moment and yeah. that will give us an opportunity to support one another during this challenge absolutely and when you follow that link, it will actually get you to where you're going to be getting an email from us with all the directions. We're going to have a, a Facebook group where you can post your videos and share it and we can interact with one another there. But I want to say also that in just a few minutes, we're going to be going live over on Tasha's page for part number two. So we're going to continue this discussion. If you have more questions, feel free to pop them below. Otherwise, we're going to hop off so we can do part two over on Tasha's page. And Tasha, can you tell us what your Facebook page is? My Facebook page is at TC Knows Brand. All right. You heard it here. Uh, we'll see you over in just about three minutes over on TC Knows Brand right on Facebook for part two of She Made Me Do It. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Ready to get uncomfortable? I challenge you, my friend, to do 100 days of Facebook Live videos right alongside Tasha and I starting on December 10th. To join in on this free adventure, head over to bit.ly slash 100 days of FB Live to sign up and join in on the fun. Let's go out there, get uncomfortable, and change our lives in the process.